Hello students. So today we will discuss about the uh, group B zero one practical uh, that is related with the legs and using the legs tool how we can generate the lexical analyzer. So related with that we have practical in the SPOS lab group B. Okay. So here uh, in this article we will discuss about how to install the legs. Okay, and uh, Yak packages on our Ubuntu system, Linux based operating system. Okay, so first let's understand how to uh, do this, uh, how to install the uh, Lex and Yak packages. Okay, uh, then uh, we'll see the uh, next part. Okay, so uh, here you can see. Uh, what we need uh, to install the Lex and Yak packages. So we need the computer, which is being uh, having the Ubuntu operating system or any Linux based operating system. Okay. And working internet connection we require uh, to install the, uh, this Lex and Yak packages. Okay. So then, uh, Now, next, then uh, we have the uh, steps to install the package Lex. So, to run the program with .l extension, we need to install the package Flex or the Flex old package. Okay. And to run the uh, Yak program, we need to install to run the Yak program with the dot extension dot y we need to install the bison packages. Okay. So here, first step, uh, you can see here to install the legs packages. You can use this command sudo abdicate install flex. Okay, only this command, if you utilize this command, you can easily install the uh, packages related to the required for the uh, legs tool. And uh, what is the command for that sudo abdicate install flex. So if you just Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's try to install. Okay, let's try to install the first package that is the Lex. To install the Lex package, we have the command should have to install Flex. Okay, so first we try to install it uh, using the terminal. Okay, as you can see, this is our terminal. I'm opening the uh terminal here uh, okay let me open the terminal okay and uh, let me share you the terminal okay so here you can see this is our terminal and here you have to just use the command sudo abdicate install package this is your command you have to use sudo abdicate install package and press enter use the password and here you can see Flex, this already I have installed. So Flex is already newest version. This is being already installed. Okay, this message will be disabled. So using this command should have to install Flex. Your package for the Lex tool will be get installed. Then next we have to install the package for the Yak. So for that command is should have get install this one. So once you press yes, then and yes, so that package also will get installed. So in this way, uh, you have to install the uh, these uh, two packages here. Okay, as you can see, we have to install the both of these packages. First package, which is required for the uh, Lex tool, that we should have to install Flex. And second package, you will require for the Bison. No, okay. So after installing this, uh, you will get the proper message uh, for installation. Okay, and then you can do the next one. Okay. So now, now next, uh, we have to see the example of uh, SPOS Lab Group 01 practical there you are going to write a lex program to generate the lexical analyzer and that lexical analyzer we are going to generate to recognize the tokens okay uh, of particular c language tokens and what are the related command for that that also we'll see okay so first uh, let me show you uh, our uh, 
particular program that we are going to see. So this is the program you can easily read here. Uh, write a Lex program to generate the lexical analyzer at the first page of compiler to recognize the tokens of C language as the input. Means you have to write the Lex program. So what is the Lex program that already I told you it consists of the three section, declaration section, uh, then it consists of the uh, rule section. Okay, rule section. This is the rule section starting from this point to the this point. Okay, here I should write the rule section. And the last part is nothing but the uh, our user function section. Understood. So this is our program. And this program we are going to compile using the Lex compiler. Okay, this program we have to, uh, now let me show you. Uh, this program we have to give here. You can see the scenario that already I told you in the previous lecture. Here, this program as a lex.l, we have to give as an input to the lex compiler that will generate the file. And that is our uh, lex.yy.c. This file will be generated. And this file will give the input to the C compiler again using the different command and it, it will generate the a.out as our lexical analyzer. Understood. And then that to that lexical analyzer will give some input from the source program and that will try to generate the tokens. Okay. So in this way, uh, we have written the code in that program. So let me show you that code first. Let me explain you the code and then we'll see the next part. So as I said, it consists of the three parts. So this is the first part that is nothing but the declaration section. Here we have declared the one header file, okay, for the input out function. And we have declared the one variable int n equal to zero. So uh, you have to prefer this format between these uh, two part, you have to write the declaration section understood then next is our rule section so this is our whole part is our rule section second part okay now in the rule section we have written the different uh, rules or the patterns with the help of the uh, re uh, regular expression so this is the rule section now this is the rule section consist of this part is called as a pattern okay as i told you the format of rule section consists of like this pattern for example p1 P2 followed by the followed by the some action. This is our rule section. So this is the rule for what? This is the rule or pattern for keyword. And in front of that, you have to write the actions. Okay. So whenever you will use some input, if that input matches with this part, with this rule, then automatically this action has to be performed. Okay. What action in the action part we have written the we display something we have print tape and what we are displaying the particular keyword. This yy text, I told you, this is the uh, uh, particular uh, uh, lex variable we have utilized that will store the match string. Okay. So suppose if you give the input as a int, okay, from the source code, so that will match with this rule and this action will be performed. Okay. And that int will be stored here y in yy text and that will get displayed. Okay. When that will, when we'll see the output, we'll see. So this is the rule for. Uh, identifying the keyword as a token and in front of that you have to write the action next this is the rule to identify the identifier as a tokens and in front of that you have to write the action so pattern action pattern and action okay similarly you have to write the pattern or the rule using the regular expression for the different operators and in front of that you have to write the actions and if it is matched it will get stored in the yy text Similarly, you have to write the rules to identify the separators. So here we are considering different separators like uh, curly braces, uh, uh, square braces, comma, semicolon. And in front of that, you have to write this action. If your uh, input that you are trying to check for the tokens, if it matches with this part, then automatically this action will get performed. Next, you can write the rules to identify the float numbers. So float numbers rule, I told, already told you it is being written like this. Uh, 0 to 9, uh, pin closer dot 0 to 9, positive closer. So you write the number like this 0 0.9 or 1.9, like this, this kind of things. So if you have written this kind of things in your program, that will be recognized as a float here. Okay. Then you can also write the rules to recognize if you have entered any positive number or the, if you are entering any integer in your source code. So that will be get recognized as an integer for that rule is written like only this 0 to 9 plus. So if you enter the number like 1, 3, 1, 3, it will be get match with this rule. And if it is get match with this rule, the matching will happen and automatically this action will be get 
perform. And next, lastly, you have written the simple dot, which will be matched with anything except the new line. So here, last part is our uh, uh, main section that is user function or auxiliary function, where you write the yylex function. And this yylex function will call our lex uh, compiler, and your program will get compiled and you get certain output generated. Okay. So this is the program. This is the program as a input specification you are going to give to the Lex compiler. So that is the reason we are calling this program as a Lex program and we have saved it as a, we have given the name to this program as a count.l or count.l. Okay. Now let's try to uh, apply the steps that I have told you uh, in this part and the steps that I have told you here. And let's see how the file, let, now I will show you how these files are get created, where are these files and how we'll check uh, the tokens can be recognized by this lexical analyzer or not, where the lexical analyzer is getting generated that everything I will show you here. Okay. So let's uh, go to that part. And so for that, you have to go to the terminal. Okay. So we'll go to the terminal. I just uh, make it clear. Okay. Now here you have to uh, utilize some commands to run the program of Lex. You have to utilize some commands. So these are the commands. So three commands you have to utilize uh, to uh, recognize the tokens uh, from the input that you are going to give. Okay. Now command to compile the Lex program using the Lex compiler. Command is what? Lex, the name of your program, dot L. Means suppose your program name is a, suppose now here we are going to do the program name as a, uh, count so legs count dot l okay now after doing this the one new file will be get generated that will be the c program will get generated legs dot yy dot c now to that program also next in the next step we have to compile using the c program compiler so we know to compile that you have to utilize the command gcc legs dot yy dot c hyphen lfl understood and after after this, after after you run this command, the one file will be get generated, which is considered as the executable file a dot out, and this a dot out will be nothing but your lexical analyzer that is our first phase of compiler. Okay, and then you will run this dot slash a dot out, and you will provide the some uh, input as a C code, and then this lexical analyzer, this a dot out is nothing but your lexical analyzer. So once you give some input as a C program, some uh, expression of C program to this uh, lexical analyzer as an input, then it will generate the tokens. Okay, as per the, I have mentioned in the figures. Okay, as per the uh, figures I have shown you, uh, like this, uh, as you can see here, in, the, in this figure you can see. So in this figure you can see, you are giving the input to the Lex, Lex compiler will generate the lex.yyc. Then again, you have to compile it to the Lex compiler and then it will generate the executable file that is the dot out, which is nothing but your lexical analyzer. And then you give some input as a source program, higher level language program, or some expression of higher level language as an input to this lexical analyzer. And then it will generate the sequence of tokens. Okay. So let's see it, uh, how we can do this now. So you have to write the commands as already you know that our program is stored on the home with the name count.l. So you have to mention the command legs program name is what count dot l. Okay. So you can see our program is successfully successfully compiled by the legs compiler. Okay. Now as I said, after running this step, one file will be get generated as a C program that is called as a legs.yy.c. So let me show you that file. Where is that generated? Okay, now for that purpose, you have to go to the home. Okay, and now let me take you to the home. Okay. Uh, okay, so here you can see where is the lex.yy.c. Okay, on the home, you have to search for the lex.yy.c. Okay, and uh, here you can see this is our lex.yy.c generated. Understood. So this is your actually if you open this, you can see this is the C program for your Lex program. Understood. This is a C program for your Lex program. Okay. So this is the file we generated after the first step. As I said in this uh, in this 
figure as i said here you can see after you compile the lex program this file will be get generated which file lex.yy.c understood then this file again we have to compile it in the c compiler so let's see uh, let me open the our terminal here now command for that already i told you command for that is what gcc lex.yy.c hyphen lfl lfl stand for the lex libraries okay so we press enter so that is also successfully compiled now after compilation of this you can see in this figure which file will be get generated a dot file must a dot file a dot out file must have been generated so let's see where it is generated or not so for that purpose again you have to go to the home okay so here you can see on the home a dot file a dot out file is generated so this a dot out is nothing but your first phase of compiler you have design and develop now that is the lexical analyzer so with the help of with the help of lex program and lex compiler you have generated the first phase of compiler here that is the system program that is the lexical analyzer okay and then now next as you can see in this figure now we have reached to the this part that we have generated the a dot out which is your lexical analyzer now to this a dot out we have to run and you have to provide some input to that and then this lexical analyzer will process that input as a some code of the c or any language and then it will generate the sequence of token so let's see how it can be done so again i share the now here you have to run your lexical analyzer dot slash a dot out that is your lexical analyzer and press enter okay now here you have to give the input okay now input for these we are going to give like suppose this is just a c language expression i will give the input in okay p equal to 2 comma d equal to 9 comma and r equal to 88 and semicolon okay so this is the input we have given to the lexical analyzer that is the first phase of compiler that we have designed and developed using the lex tool okay so let's see what output we will get so this is the output we have got so you can easily see what output you are getting so as this will give we are giving this you have given as you can see in this figure as you can see in this figure uh, you have given this okay you have given this as a input okay what input we have given int p equal to 2 comma d equal to 9 and r equal to 88 and semicolon okay so you can see uh, after giving this uh, input what kind of output we can get that output also you can see here okay so this output uh, you can get as for the uh, in the particular uh, 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 ppt i have shown you you will get the different tokens to be get, uh, token different tokens uh, generated that you will get here understood so now if you see these uh, If you see output is keyword and int means int is a keyword then identifier p okay then operator this okay equal to sign then again integer you can see integer you can see here integer two then again you can see uh, the next part separator comma then identifier d operator equal to integer 9 separator comma identifier r operator equal to integer and separator okay so you can see these are the different tokens to be get generated understood so as per the part i have mentioned you this figure that after you give some input source program for lexical analysis it will generate the sequence of token so this is your lexical analyzer which you have generated with the help of the lex tool okay so this is all about the uh, what we can say uh, this is all about the how you can generate the lexical analyzer 
with the help of uh, lex tool and how you can check whether you are program containing the tokens or not so if you take the another example let me run it again and uh, if, let me show you now if you give the input to this uh, generated lexical analyzer uh, like uh, suppose i give the input as a char and uh, then let's see what kind of output we get so we'll get output here that it is considering the char uh, char as a identifier and fgs as a identifier and semicolon as a identifier but you know the char is a keyword but you have not mentioned that in your lex program that is the reason it will be get identifier as a uh, identifier as a identifier over the variable because if you see your program uh in your program you can easily see uh okay in this program you can easily see you have not mentioned char anywhere as a keyword understood so if you mention here char as a keyword and uh, if you let me do the change here and if i mention here uh, char as a keyword and if i save it and let me run it again with uh, our uh, terminal and let's see what kind of output we get okay okay there is some problem uh, let me check out okay okay control s and again i okay so it successfully run compile is see compiler again and you run now the lexical analyzer and you provide the same uh, input will provide char uh, icon fgh so you can see here it is showing the keyword as a char identifier as fgh separate like this understood so what i am trying to say here the way you uh, write the the way you write the lex specification here the way you write the lex rule here accordingly your lexical analyzer will get generated and accordingly it will recognize the tokens okay so that's it about this practical we are in this practical we have seen uh, the how to generate the lexical analyzer using the lex program to recognize the tokens of c language so we have provided the input here you can see we have provided the input here uh, as a tokens of c language sorry we have provided the input here as a some expression from c language like this or this and accordingly it is it is generating the different kind of tokens so this is the implementation implementation of first phase of our compiler where we have implemented the lexical analyzer using the lex tool which is automatic tool provided by the unix operating system as you can see we have installed it and then we have provided the input specification in the form of the lex specification and then we have generated the uh, lexical analyzer and then we have check it whether it can be recognized the tokens or not understood so your lexical analyzer that is nothing but this a dot out it will uh, recognize the tokens only according to the rules that you have mentioned uh in this particular program understood so that's it that's it uh, all about this uh, today's uh, uh, session where we have seen uh, how to implement the uh, lexical analyzer as a first phase of compiler using the uh, lex tool okay thank you all of you so you just go through it and if you have the laptop you can install this part and you can practice okay thank you Thank you.